Four years we sat by, idly watching as Germany made its second attempt to conquer Europe. Millions suffered. Untold numbers murdered in cold blood. But enough was enough. It was time to do something to stop the evil. It was time for the most powerful country in the world, the United States of America, to lead the invasion. Normandy was where America had elected to join the battle. June 6, 1944. A day few could live to recount the experience to those eager to listen. For our soldiers could not have asked for a more difficult and perilous task. As their leader, I had a job to do. One I wouldn't wish on anyone. These men, boys even, many had drop whatever they were doing in their life at the time to enlist and fight these Nazis, coming from all walks of life. A journalism student, a farmhand, hotel concierge, some who have never even held a rifle in their hands before. Others, seasoned veterans, itching to fight. No matter what walk of life we came from, we were here for one purpose, to go to war. War is not glorious, war is not romantic. It's a monster, and is capable of unimaginable wrath and bloodshed. And whatever fear I felt, I had to bury it. Whatever lay ahead of us, I would have to contend with. But whatever I had told myself, I never could have imagined what was to unfold. We were the boys. The point to hog. Lieutenant Colonel Rudder reporting, General. Come in. What's up? Colonel, I want you to look at these maps. Operation Overlord planned by General Eisenhower. Yes, you're correct. These beaches are vital to winning this war, James. You know the importance of securing the beach landings in the coming days. Now this ridge along Point Duhok here. The Germans have artillery emplacements covering Utah and Omaha beaches. They're also likely machine gun nests, not to mention the tactical advantage of rifle teams firing from a superior position. Yes, sir. Now we believe the ridge line is accessible by scaling these 100-foot cliffs here. The landing force will no doubt take on heavy fire. Once the ridge line is taken, this highway must then be secured. Here, there are six heavy artillery units that must be neutralized before the invasion forces land. It is vitally important these weapons are incapacitated. Thousands of lives depend on it. That's a tough mission. It is, James. That's why I'm asking you to lead it. Thank you, General. I am fully aware of the importance of the mission, and I will gladly lead the Second Rangers into battle with honor. You'll do fine, son. Thank you, sir. Give him hell. You have my words, sir. Team ready? They are. Well, that doesn't sound very confident. Well, I don't like it, James. 
Well, none of us like it, Cleveland. However, we have a job to do. We need to secure the beaches for our troops and the Allied forces. Otherwise, Operation Overlord will be a failure, and it'll cost us lives. You know this. The Free French forces claim the artillery, in fact, has not been removed. To land at Point Du Hawk is pure insanity. We are going to get slaughtered. I am very well aware of those claims, Cleveland. However, they have been wrong a substantial amount of times. What if they're not wrong this time? The risk of lives is just, it's not worth it, in my opinion, sir. I will admit the mission is dangerous, but we're going to need to have to take risks in order to be successful. We have a ship full of kids out there. They're going to get slaughtered. I, I regret having to ask you this, Major, but have you been drinking? I can smell it. Oh, come on, James. Don't come at me with this angle. You know as well as I do that this is complete bullshit. Oh, our, our men are very well trained. They are go-getters, trained by the British. Don't insult me, sir. I did that training. I led those Rangers on a previous mission. This is a suicide mission. Those cliffs will be lined with artillery and machine gun nests. They're going to pick us off with ease. You are in no state of mind to be leading our troops. Uh. More lives will be lost if we have you leading our men in this state of mind. You are relieved. I will lead a team myself. <sighs> you are relieved. Don't turn your back on me. Why don't you take a look at what you're doing right now, Cleveland? Alcohol's doing more to you than it is for you. You want to throw away your entire career? Spend several weeks in the brig until we're home stateside? Good luck, Colonel Rudder. God be with you. God be with you all. And here's to a clear conscience, not taking those kids to their death unnecessarily. You are dismissed. You can speak honestly, Lieutenant Powers. You think I did anything wrong there? No, Colonel. He is an otherwise fine man when he is sober. How's your wife, sir? She's good. Pregnant. Gonna give birth anytime soon. Hopefully we'll get you home in time to see the birth of your newest. One can certainly hope. You're free to go. Thank you. Yes, sir. Cowboys and Indians with the kids back on the block. Now, do me. Yeah. Except you and your brother never let me play the Indian. <laughs> That's because we were Italian. What the hell does that have to do with anything, Carbo? I don't know. Indian, Italian. <laughs> they both start with the letter I. Irish begins with an I, too. Yeah, it does, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. Right, hold still. Second battalion on your feet! Attention! Eyes forward! Gentlemen, at ease. Smoke one if you have one. Once we hit shallow water at 0, 630 hours, we will deploy in squads. We will scale those cliffs, and we will take out any machine gun nests. Then we will convene to clear out a massive bunker on the ridge line. After the hill is cleared out, we will search the six cannons, and we will destroy them. The Navy is going to begin bombardment of the shoreline. We will board the LCAs. We will have a 60-minute traverse to the shore. Plenty of time to think about the greater good and why you are here. Let me get a hoo the Nazi doesn't care about you. They question your intelligence. They think you are weak. Do you remember your training? Yes, yes sir. sir! As some of you may have heard, Major Lytle has been dismissed 
relieved of his duties. He was not 100% behind this mission. Therefore, I felt that he would be a liability to you. I need men who believe in this mission. I need you to be 100%. And I want nothing more than our success and to return as many of you home to your families as possible. Therefore, I will lead us into battle. All right. Get ready to board those LCIs. Let me get a hoo hoo Doesn't make any sense the Major wouldn't be behind this mission. Doesn't make any sense at all. He ain't a coward. There's gotta be a good reason behind it. I heard some of the fellas saying the French just said these guns don't even exist. The Germans are just using it as a trap to pick us off off those freaking cliffs. Well, we're gonna find out. I don't have a word with the Colonel. Colonel Farmay? Lamel? When did you dismiss the, the Major, sir? About an hour ago, Lamel. I know that you were fond of him. Is there an issue that you'd like to discuss? No, sir. Um, it's just strange that he wouldn't follow through with the mission without good reason, sir. Are you aware that the Major is fond of Irish whiskey? Yes, sir. Well, there lies your answer. Thank you, sir. Colonel, can I have a word, sir? These guys had so far up Lieutenant Colonel's ass, he's gonna suffer. Lance, keep your voice down, man. Eh? Want to demote you back to a private? All right, second range. This is what we're going to go beyond ourselves. We are 40 minutes behind schedule. We're going to be diverting to the eastern side of the cliff. Lamel. Yes, sir. You're going to take A squad. Power. Yes, sir. You are going to take B squad. Let me get a hoo-ah. Hoo-ah. Man, when that door opens, you give him hell. Stay focused, Wiley. When that door opens up, you give him hell.
gotten in my, my first deployment. You better get used to it. He's not gonna make it. I want you to give him some for the pay. It's a good use. Take him out. You got it, boss.
Let's get the rest of the platoon up here. Carbone. Yes, Sarge. Show the colors. My pleasure, Sarge. Ridge line secure on my position. I say again, ridge line secure on my position. Whoa! Let me get a whoa! Open, boys. Sleep tight, Jerry, motherfuckers. Red, white, and blue. Welcome to the ridge, sir. Good job, first sergeant. Ridge line is secure. Gentlemen, that's when we'll find the guns. That's what we need to take out. Together, Wiley. It's not a big deal. I still have to wrap it for infection. All right, just make it quick. Time is of the essence, son. Okay. 90 seconds. I'm counting. Son of a bitch. So they want to be savage. Well, that just means, gentlemen, that we're out to show them the next evolution of savage. We got a hoo -ah. hoo -ah. This is nothing. Uh. Hurry up, Wiley. We're good. Thank you, son. You sure you're all right, Colonel? I'll be all right. Order, sir. We move to the bunkers. Prepare for another engagement. You heard the man move out. Yes, sir, I We show them hell will be on the confines of their imagination. If you don't take these six guns, our entire mission will sink to the bottom of that ocean and 200,000 soldiers along with it. Colonel, we're approaching our target. OK, gentlemen, receive a caution of purpose. These aren't the guns. These are decoys. Jerry's with telephone poles up. Stay alert until we have swept the bunker. Right, sir? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Former defense around that perimeter while we regroup. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, we need to find those guns. All right, gather around, men. All right, we're receiving fire from the East Face C Battery. Over that hill, the East and West emplacements. We're gonna divide into two teams. One takes the East, one takes the West. Lieutenant Powell's and I are gonna focus on the front. There have been a lot of friendly fire out there. There have been a lot of casualties. If you want to come home, you defend your brother. I want blood, do you hear me? Yes, yes sir! sir! All right, there you have your orders. All right, White, you're with me. We'll hit the west. Coon, you take Carbone and Hodges, you hit the east. Let's move! Yes, sir, Sergeant! Germans left side! Take my six! I'm gonna frag him! Right there! 
present from Uncle Sam! Yet, Robbins? No, sir, not yet, sir. I'm working on it. Sir, I have the general. Hammer? This is Anvil. Anvil, report. The guns aren't here. We're gonna need more time. The ridge line is not secured. I repeat, the ridge line is not secured. Recommend tilt. Copy, Anvil. And we'll out. Give me Lieutenant Colonel Schneider. This is General Bradley. I need you to divert the 5th Ranger Battalion to Omaha Beach. Affirmative. Any word from Dog Company? Sir, they're taking substantial casualties, sir. Colonel Rudder just called tilt, sir. Damn. Is this the intel for Operation Overlord? Yes, sir.
We're gonna keep the same ammo for the bunker. Seemed to work well. We're gonna traverse down the terrain from the rear. And Lieutenant Powers and I will again lead the remaining company on a full assault. First Sergeant, you and Mr. White will flank to the left and enter the east side tunnel entrance. Yes, sir. Staff Sergeant, you, Hodges, and Carbone, into the west side tunnel entrance. You will flank to the right. Yes, sir. Clear out the bunker. Blow the ideology out the back of their heads. You guys keep yourselves together in there. Now, if we are in fact finished clearing off top side, we will come down to assist. Everybody good with that plan? <laughs> Let me hear that again! <laughs> You good with that plan, Technical Sergeant White? Yes. Well, good. Back to battle, then. Map show these tunnels intersecting? Not that I recall. It's not ammunition. I think we should blow this joint. Yeah. Just bury it. We need to give Rudder our support. Let's continue forward. All right? Let's keep moving. There's our sweet bright boys. Let's go. Ich habe damals bei Mann, du 
Ja, ja, die alte Leier, das erzählst du uns jedes Mal. Sehr gut. Sie sind wirklich schon so lange marschiert. Die Amerikaner haben geglaubt, sie können unsere Stellung erobern. Also. Gonna bite you, Wiley. Hey. 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 I'm Wiley, okay? My name is Wiley. Na name? What's your name? Horst. Horst. Okay, Horst. I'm gonna I'm 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 check out your leg, okay? Did you hear that, boys? What do you think of that ideology? I know you're loaded with some. Come out. Find anything of any significance for a sergeant? No, nothing of significance, sir. Stockpiles of munitions, radio room, rations, a lot. We took care of the equipment room. Nothing about the whereabouts of the guns, though? No intel, sir. Strange. I thought we'd find something myself. And we especially didn't come across any resistance with this division to be guarding something like that artillery. Agreed. Thoughts on the whereabouts of the guns? If they even exist. They'd have to be somewhere in this area if they wanted to defend the beach with them. All right, well, the answer probably lies with one of them. Staff Sergeant! Yes, sir. Your German's quite good. Speak to the corporal in Deutsch. Hey, look at me. Where are the guns? What's in Zegers, you say? Hmm? Look at me. What's in Zegers, you say? Wasn't he just shoot there? Got no hard Jungs. Ah! Tactical Sergeant White! That is a warning! Somebody give me a canteen and some food rations, now! I'm out, Coon. I'm out. Vasa, Unasen, Jordan, Dez, Mezat. Keep doing what you're doing. Robbins, get a hammer on the line. Yes, sir. You relay some information. Asser un Essen. Fjordendez Mirsat. I have him raised, sir. Thank you, Robbins. Hammer, this is Anvil. We have secured the ridge line and there are no guns. I repeat, we have secured the ridge line and there are no guns. We are conducting interrogations. Copy. The ridge line has been secured. Proceed with mission objective based on new intel. Look at me! This isn't working. The cooperative that fair Bahamut. Time for another tactic coup. Listen to me. I'm the one dealing with this, you got that? Let me deal with it. Understood. Keep me appraised, Anvil. Hammer out. Anvil out. Thank you, Robert. Thank <laughs> you. 
2,5 Kilometer von hier, südlich. So, he's, uh, he's, do you understand this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying, he's saying it's about uh, 2.5 kilometers south of here in a barn. Okay, understood, Staff Sergeant. Thank you, Staff Sergeant. You said there are munitions? Yes, sir. In the bunker. Go rig some explosives. I want to blow this place. I don't like it. Can I get a hoorah? Hoorah! All right. I'm going to let Lamel handle this. Before this, I want to tell you, I just spoke to your command. There is yet again another German company waiting for us on foot. Do you understand that this means you need to brace yourself for another engagement? All right. Rangers, lead the way. The mail handle it. Blow it. All right, boys, you heard the man. We're moving on to find those guns. Obviously, they ain't here. Check your magazines. Make sure you got fresh magazines for your rifles. Carbone, Hodges. Sir. You boys will go back in the bunker. You rig those munitions. We're going to blow this place to hell. Be our pleasure, Sarge. All right, boys, let's move out. Oh. We're gonna regroup for a bit, men. Have some water, perhaps something to eat. If you wanna take a rest, let the man next to you do so. Just switch off, to take 10 minutes. We're still at war. Stay alert. And get a hoo ah hoo ah hoo -ah. Let's clear the area. Clear. Clear. Sit down. On your asses. I say we shoot these Jerry's. They're only gonna slow us down. Now you're talking my language, huh? Sergeant, we'll do that bandage for you. I did, sir. Please have Wiley take a look at that and get it redressed. I'm fine, sir. That was not a suggestion, soldier. Lamel? Yes, sir. Something's wrong with your boy. Keep him in check. I'll have a word with him. Thank you. Hey, man, White has lost it, First Sergeant. You know he's capable of doing something like that? First Sergeant, did you know that Technical Sergeant White was capable of doing something like that? War changes people. What can I say? <laughs> Listen. That, that's how you're gonna play it. Tech Sergeant, just wanted to tell you, for what it's worth, Wiley! Me and most of the fellas think you did the right thing. Wiley! I mean, that fathead coon wasn't gonna get yes. nowhere Tech with Sergeant. that Nazi. Bandage this for me. They, they, they don't just yes. roll over and squeal just like that. Nah, they're tough bastards. I mean, if you had shot, just that dress over it. Sir, sir you, you've been shot by one of those sons of bitches over there. I gotta, I gotta clean it. I gotta disinfect it. I gotta. What I said, dress over it and get the colonel off my ass. You see, I think you knew. You knew, and you didn't do anything about it, which makes you just as guilty. That is enough, Staff Sergeant. 
Sit down. Now. If you had shot that Jerry Corporal, he would have just been a martyr, dying for Deutschland. <laughs> but nah, you shot his buddy, and that was a smart thing to do. Oh, he was scared as hell after that. <laughs> Wiley. <laughs> he couldn't help but spill in his guts like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> but, um, uh, you think the Colonel was serious about uh, court martialing for sure? Carbone! Subject? Get the hell away from me. Hey. Jeez. I'll be. Look at that. I'll just check this. He looks just like the German shepherd I had when I was a kid. That ain't your shepherd, pal. That looks like a Nazi dog to me. Come here, boy. You're asking to get your hand torn off. No. He's a sweetheart, I can tell. I hate dogs. Oh, not this one. Beautiful. He's gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks. Robbins? It's Wiley, sir. I think he's losing it. I'll talk to him, son. Thank you, Robbins. <laughs> Wiley! Yes, sir. What's going on with you, son? It's kind of my attention you're no longer fit to be a part of this outfit. Why? Did I not dress Tech Sergeant's wound correctly, sir? Uh, you did a fine job with that, son. It's more about the... I understand your compassion. Listen, so, I... I remember my first day of seeing combat like it was yesterday. It's not easy. Those images, they'll, the, the bad thoughts, they'll never leave your mind. You'll never be able to forget them, but every soldier's like that, son. Everybody's like that. Yes, sir, I'm fine. Son, you need to understand that this is a part of it. This is a part of it, son. And you will learn to bury it and turn it off, change your reaction to it, and disconnect in time. And that really is the only way you're going to stay sane in war. How do you do that, sir? You focus sir. on your job. And know that if you don't, the very lives of the men around you will be jeopardized. Those boys that gave their lives today on the beach? Uh, that, that's on me, son. And, uh... If I choose to dwell on that, how could I possibly continue to lead all of you? Right, son? I know you're taking lives and saving them. I understand you. I need you to become a lion, yeah. Just know that you're doing the right thing. Yes, sir, I can do this. Yes, you can. You're trained for it too, son. Good talk, you carry on. All right, men, let's move out. It's the voice of God, boys, let's go. Hold your position, men. Lamell and White, check out that structure to the left.
Nothing here. Fire's fresh. Probably refugee. Hey! I'm not, I'm not true. Come on out. Clear, move in, move in. I am Nikolai. Polish. Fighting with the French resistance. You are American, yes? That's right, we are Americans. You say you're with the resistance? What are you doing out here? Fighting Nazis. Same as you, no? <laughs> you, you are heading south? Maybe. Uh, you cannot go that way, my friends. Nazis, they come this way. They are, uh, they are looking for me. Uh, they come from um, headquarters, and just beyond is the guns. What kind of guns? Like you say in America, big guns. Howitzers. How, ma how many howitzers? I did not see them with my eyes, but uh, I met a man not dying on the road. <laughs> Ten-year-old boy, who also killed by the Nazis. He sees them loading the howitzers into a white plantation farmhouse. I believe him because I go to see with my own eyes, and there are many guards all around the plantation. They are guarding something big. And, sir, you're saying that this plantation is in this direction over here? The headquarters are there, and the plantation is around. Well, that's certainly contrary to what our Nazi corporal told us over here. It's almost as if the Nazi corporal wanted to lead us into some sort of trap. I'm gonna kill him. Hey, 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 Lance! Hey. Do not kill him, it's not gonna do a damn thing. <clears throat> Well, we heard our friend here. Let's move out. Uh, Nikolai, was it? Do you need any rations, water, uh, medical attention? No, I, I could use a light. Sorry, he's been shot. All right, Wiley, please come over here for a second. Check out that wound. No, Sorry, no, Sorry, sir, no, we no. need. No. Just go, hurry. Just remember, you go east to avoid the column of Nazis coming up this way. Go. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, let's move. Here you go, pal. The Yankees, are they still the champions? Yeah, but the St. Louis Cardinals are giving them a run for their money. The Joe DiMaggio, he will take them to victory, no? I hope so. First Sergeant, we are waiting on you. Thank you, Nikolai. You take care. How you doing, Lamel? Good, sir. Thank you. Colonel! Yes, Staff Sergeant. I think, I think Nikolai was telling the truth. Look how deep these tracks are. Something heavy was trapped through here. Well, that last one was in our favor. A lot of that. I'll put you down, son. You hold. A slight attitude adjustment. Nothing over the top, son. Not before you, Jerry. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit! Besser? Yeah? Yeah, all is good. We can expect company. You can trust me on that. 
Keep your eyes peeled and your weapons ready. Just hang in there, okay? Coming in with Morphe. Wiley, come on. I got, I got it, I got it, I got it. Lance! He's gone. He's gone. No, 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 why? He's gone. Why? Come on. Come on. Hodges, Carbona, I need you inside the house. Everybody else, set up a perimeter. Yes, Colonel, sir! Listen, even though I'll never agree with what Tech Sergeant White Not did. Now, no, Coon. listen. I know he was your friend. I'm sorry. I'll always be honored to have served with him. He was otherwise a fine soldier. I served with him, another unit, about a year and a half ago. He was always kind of angry. I could always trust him. Always had my back, no matter what was going on around us. After that, he went off on some mission he couldn't talk about with the British commandos. When he got back, he definitely was the same. What happened? How did it change? Never asked. Maybe I, I should have. Nah. You never should pry. When somebody wants to talk, they'll say something, one way or another. White was never one to talk much about anything. 
Maybe I just couldn't tell. Too focused on my own thoughts. Oh, hey. No, I think you're right. He was never one to open up much about anything. You don't seem to have a problem talking about stuff? <laughs> <laughs> or voicing your opinion, for that matter. Yeah, is that a compliment or a criticism, First Sergeant? Neither. Just an observation, Coon. You know, my old man, he had this rule in the house. He, uh, well, uh, he had a lot of rules. But this one was like, you know, you never went to bed angry. You never left the house angry. You always said what you wanted to say, because... you never know if you could see that person again? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My dad said the same thing. <laughs> maybe they knew each other. Well, maybe. Maybe the class president. Valedictorian, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I got pretty good grades. How about you, huh? I bet you were a relays man. <laughs> yeah, it was a problem. Why knew about that? <laughs> Always chasing the girls. Yeah. <laughs> what, you chasing them or them chasing you? Huh? The good ones always chase me, so a little bit of both. Oh. Except I always chase the bad ones. Yeah? Well, I don't see how that's much of a problem. It is when one of them turns out to be married and her husband comes after you with a shotgun. Oh, wow. Okay, for real? Yeah. What happened? Join the army. All right, boys, find those guns. Colonel, Colonel, yes. I found it. It looks like Nikolai wasn't lying. There's a big map inside. The guns are in a barn about a half mile from here. Perfect. Prepare to move out. For sure. All right, let's go look around back. Copy. Say again, you're requesting final protective fire on your position? Affirmative hammer. 
I'm requesting final protective fire in our position. There's no other recourse? Hammer, there is no other form of recourse! <laughs> we are Charlie Foxtrot. We are Charlie Foxtrot! Copy, Anvil. Charlie Foxtrot, understood. Confirming final protective fire in your position. We'll comply. Godspeed, Anvil. Back at you, Hammer. All right, men! I want you to listen to me very carefully. I contacted Hammer. We are gonna have final protective fire sent to our position. We will get through this. You will see your wives again. We will survive this. You will be going home so long as you understand that you must give them hell! All right, keep your hands down, lace and press the fire! Ben my Shree, this is actual. Stand by. Hammer on the line for you, sir. It's Major Lyle here, sir. Final protective fire for Anvil's position. Roger, sir, Wilco. Prepare the forward batteries for engagement. Aye, aye, sir. Forward battery, load your weapons and prepare to engage. I repeat, load your weapons and prepare to engage. Give me a second now, son. Come on, cover me. Yes, sir, I got you, man! Sure. Sounds like it's going to Colonel's position. He's probably overrun. Called in last protective fire. Let's get this done so our boys didn't die for nothing. Copy that. There's two of them. All right. Get the one left. Get the 
the wrong way. Got it. There's two more! Down. Lay down some fire. Or we'll run the side. Got it. Loading and end mission. I repeat, seize loading and end mission. All right, Anvil. Cease loading and end mission. Good to hear your voice. Likewise. I will advise about the primary objective. Secondary objective is complete. I repeat, secondary mission is accomplished. Copy, Anvil. Good work. Keep us updated. Will do. Anvil out. When's it gonna end, sir? It is a necessary thing, son. It'll end when it ends. Like blades of grass. Don't be the fickle tree that snaps. Go with it. Fire! Adam! Hammer has commanded us to cease fire. Cease fire! Cease fire! The Germans are retreating! They're on their retreat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, you good? Good! Could've just jumped over the fence, could Yeah, yeah well, I'll save you first. Looks like we hit the jackpot. It's about time. I got the thermites in my pack. You take those, I'll take these. Stay put, stay put, okay? I'll take care of the cannons. Just stay there. Take the thermites. Put them in the recoil mechanism. Uh, 
damn bastard. <sighs> Going, Coon. Give me a minute. That's all five. I got all five. Come on. Help me up. Yeah, you got an extra frag? Yeah, why? There's an ammo dump over there I want to blow. No. The cannons are priority. Help me up. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I got you. I got you. You know that black powder's gonna blow like hell. Yeah, I'll be damned. You think our boys got those cannons? I don't know. Not unless there was a... Ammo dump. Their might wouldn't explode like that. It sounds like Hammond's coming through the radio, Colonel. Excellent. Thank you, Garboner. Copy that, Firestone. Glad to hear. What is it, sir? There's a French company headed our way. <laughs> <laughs> With a big merci beaucoup to give, huh? Wiley. Yes, sir. You did a good job today, son. Really. And uh, a lot of those men out there, they owe their life to you. Wish I could have saved more, sir. You're, you're doing it, son. Carry on. Yes, sir. Ben Maishree, this is actual. Major Lytle, I have Anvil on the line for you, sir. James? Hey, you made it. I apologize for the, the delay in the artillery, sir. I'm sorry, what are, you, what are you talking about, Major? We came under attack by enemy fire, sir. We took out the turret crews. That was me on the big guns. Thank you, Major. You saved us out there today. I'm glad to have been able to help, sir. You sure did, Cleveland. And I'll see you soon. I'm sure you'll tell me all about it. Yes, sir. Firing us anytime soon, sir. Got that right. <laughs> Raise hammer, please. Thank you, Garbona. General, would it be possible for me to get a word in with my wife? Of course, Colonel. Thank you, General. Amble out. Wiley. Yes, sir. Go ahead and take care of Lamel, son. Yes, sir. Come here, you camel. Starting to feel the glory. <laughs> 